hey guys and girls welcome back to another beautiful video on the beautiful channel on the beautiful day how you guys and girls doing today we're going to talk about functions and classes a little more a little more detailed and how to um, define them outside of the actual uh, actual class so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just create a little class up here and I'm gonna name it whatever uh, class test or or my class just a general name just generic whatever it's not supposed to be anything special it's just a class which will contain some data so I'll I'll have a private section here and a public section here so it's not gonna be anything special I'm gonna create one um, since we're using uh, strings and vectors let's create a std vector object of um, std strings in here just anything my strings like that so we have an empty vector object now I'm gonna create a um, constructor here called my class just the general constructor now we're gonna define all of these things outside so um, let's do functions accessors modifiers now we only have one variable to deal with so it doesn't really matter um, variable so this whole tutorial is going to be about how to define stuff outside and uh, and kind of how to use functions a little better and um, my my what was this name my class okay it should be a big M though uh, my class my class function definitions so here I'm gonna put all the definitions for my class and stuff like that and um, my class boom then we're gonna need a function and accessor so std vector it's gonna be a const reference std vector reference std string as well so this is how you would uh, send out a vector get my strings like that and then we're gonna define this outside as well const then we'll have a modifier and a then I didn't use inline here notice void set set my strings and then we'll just give it a const int index in here and we'll define that as well. And this, what this is going to do is this going to be able to um, set, or we can say uh, add add to my strings, okay? And we're not going to use this. We're just going to push back a new value, and then it's going to be an, a const std string string. So we're going to using this function, this modifier, we're going to add stuff to our Actually, this can be a function because a modifier would be uh, setting the whole array. Still, this is add to my strings. So, to what, what we could do is we could just call it add. Doesn't really matter. A little easier for us to to deal with. So we have a constructor, an accessor, and a function that we want to change. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start start off with the constructor, and the syntax is like this. So if we're defining defining this outside, not like this within the class itself, if we want to define it outside, what we do is we say the type of the function. Now a constructor is special function, so it doesn't it doesn't really need a uh, type. So we're just gonna say my class, its name, colon colon my class again this is for the constructor boom and then we're gonna define it right here so the class itself and the name of the constructor and they're both the same obviously and these two colons means that this belongs the right hand side thing belongs to the left hand side thing so this belongs to the class and we're defining it and it wouldn't work without this it would complain it would say like what the hell is my class I don't know what the hell is going on expected an identifier and this is the identifier now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna say this um, my strings see how we can access my strings even though we're outside of the class that's because we're technically inside of it by defining it like this so my strings dot push back push back uh, maybe 
hi I am number one like that so we just added that and we have a function we need one more function um, void we'll say std string const std string uh, to string and we'll define that as well later so this is the constructor defined boom we're done we added something to the my strings uh, array now we're gonna define the next one we're gonna define the accessor so we're gonna define get my strings the way we do that is again we give it the type I'm just gonna copy paste it now just because I have to because I don't want to write it again so this is the whole thing is the type so we're gonna return a constant vector of strings and a reference to it and uh, then we're gonna get the class name my class colon colon get my strings and we're gonna define it like that uh, don't forget the const as well if you have that so it's not green anymore so we're we have given this a definition now the green thing says function definition not found so that means you have to define it I could again I could define it in here if I want to give it the body in here but I'm not doing that I'm doing it outside somewhere else so this whole thing doesn't look as cluttered you can put this below here you can put it below main wherever you want uh, and this is the next first step into getting into the separate classes uh, so but let's keep going uh, so what I want to do is I want to return this whole vector so return this my strings easy as that I can return it and to test it out let me make a for loop here um, and first make an object so my class uh, object just anything just an object there's nothing special this object only has a vector right so we don't we don't need to name it anything special so object dot get my strings so we get the whole vector dot size because we want to go the for loop should go through the vectors size so by giving it by by calling this function an object we're getting the vector and as you know each vector has a bunch of different functions you can use pushback and everything and the size function will just return its size so we're gonna go through the whole vector and we're gonna do std c out and object dot get my strings dot at um, let's see mm, I guess if we can do this that would be great yeah we can do that so that looks a little weird don't worry about it but it's basically you get the vector and then you this is the indexing for the vector uh, so you can access those things so if I just run this a little quickly it might complain because it's a const no it won't hi I am number one so we printed that out I think you can do at I as well and that will say that will do the same thing hi I am number one so if I added more things this would go through the whole vector and print everything out um, so yeah, there you go. There, those are two two things that we created. So an accessor, a a uh, constructor. Now we're at the function add. So we're gonna create this function, define it. Let me just copy paste this actually. Copy paste that. So void add everything every, everything just as it should be. And uh, the only thing we need to add here is the my class class name, just to tell it that this belongs to that. And then this add function, all it's gonna do is it's gonna say this my strings the vector dot pushback string. So we're adding a string to it. The one we're sending in, we're adding to the actual vector in here. So I hope you can see how this can work for some kind of game inventory where you can add loot to your inventory or just a person database where you add people to a database through these functions, anything like that. So that's that's that. Now let's get to the last function here, the to string, which we're going to use. Again, just copy pasted it. And the only thing I'm going to add after the whole type thing, I'm going to add std, oh no, uh, my class to string. And I'll add a const here as well because to string should be a const. Boom. No problem. So now we defined it. And the to string should do actually what this is doing. So I'm gonna make a for loop in here. I'm gonna std string uh, return string. 
Well, what did I call it in the last video? Finished, uh, finished string or something like that. I don't know. We'll just call it str. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. Call it whatever you want. Call it temp if you want to do that. Then we're gonna go through this my strings dot size like that, and we're gonna add each of the my strings to this string. So str plus equals uh, this my strings at position i plus a new line. So we're going to add a new line so it's going to kind of be like a list. All right. And then we're going to add also the std to string i plus like that. So it's going to be like position zero is this, position one is this, and so on and so on. So we made basically a long string and we're going to add a bunch of uh, strings to, to, this, uh, to this list. And then we can print them all out using the toString function. And the final thing to do is return return this. No, not this. Just return str, the temporary one. And then you should have the whole string. So instead of this for loop, what I'm going to do is I created the object and I'm going to do std cout um, object dot two string and I'm going to close that with a new line and if I run this we shouldn't have any issues hi I am number one at position zero so that's the only thing we have now let's add some stuff let's use the functions we created so obj dot if you write the dot you can see that you have a bunch of different uh, functions that you created so these are the ones you have um, let's try to use add so hi I am another string from main. Boom. So I added that and now I'm gonna do the two string here. After the add, that means I should have two things. I have hi I'm number one, hi I'm another string from main. And then I, we can add a bunch of random stuff in here. Just a bunch of high spams. Boom boom boom. You can do this in a for loop. So I want to add ten ten highs. So hi and then you can add stuff in here as well I think like this std2 string i so I am number and then the int the i value and then we're just gonna add a bunch of things to this array and then print it out with two string hi I'm number one another string boom 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 and there you go so that's basically how you can use classes and you can do whatever you want with them there's no set rules they help you create things from the real world like people cars games whatever you want to do but you can create things that are just kind of like things to help you out make things easier put store things together whatever you want databases you can use classes for just about anything so I hope this shows you kind of one way to do that we can create a class uh, class calculator this is just an example like this and then you could have a um, bunch of functions in here add uh, multiply anything anything so you can kind of abstract together things create things in different ways uh, it really helps you out with this object oriented thinking so I hope this uh, this helped you I hope you learned something hope I could explain it well enough I know I'm not the best here and uh, definitely far from the best so all of you who have suggestions and, and ways to fix my stuff, please tell me. Please write it in the comment section. Help people out. Um, and correct me if you want, of course. That's great. But yeah, other, other than that, thanks for watching. Hope everything is good with you guys. And uh, I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, all right? Bye-bye.